Sounds in music differ all the time, and in the editor, your job is to contrast those sounds to complement what the song is doing, whether that be through rhythm, movement, or visual. We're going to be discussing about rhythm in this video. In the map Hyadain's Jojo Yujo, mapped by Yuma, the chorus of the song's rhythm is essentially boiled down to constant one half rhythm span. However, the song is a duet between two singers alternating between their lines. Although, I have a bit of a distaste towards this map as it does not emphasize between the transition of the switch of each singer nearly enough. The spacing is relatively the same and, at most, the only emphasis is indicated by a new combo. Some people have skins with only one color so it may not even give that much of a visual effect. Other than the one half sliders on the downbeats, in terms of rhythm, the chorus is entirely mapped with one half rhythm circle span, which leaves no note more emphasized than any other, especially during gameplay. I mean, it's a pretty good PV map, so... To counter this, you would need to contrast the rhythm to emphasize the more important sounds. For example, in my rendition of the map, I undermap a lot of the vocals to emphasize the vocal switch between the two singers. Every new combo, there is a clear rhythm contrast, either by a one-half slider to a circle, or a circle to a one-half slider. This isn't the only way to emphasize the vocal switches through rhythm. I can use additive triples as well. Both of these methods work, it's just a matter of what you think fits better. Let's look at another example. Listen to the small section of music. You can clearly hear a cymbal crash at the second downbeat. I'm following the rhythm of the song, sure. However, there's not much emphasis rhythmically as it pretty much has the exact rhythm as it had on the previous downbeat. When there is clearly a heard cymbal on the second, I can do plenty of things to emphasize the cymbal. Most mappers would put a 1-1 one -one slider on the downbeat and call it a day. But, I can contrast the rhythm even more for a better emphasis. For example, I can simply extend this one half slider into a 3 fourth, leaving the player to hold the slider for longer. I can overmap a small little burst right before it to elevate the rhythm from all the previous one half rhythm, or I can do the exact opposite and use a 1-1 one -one note gap right before the cymbal. All these four options work. Again, it's just a matter of what you think fits the song better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my first actual video and you actually learned something from it. This is my first time doing this, so I am all for feedback in the comments, and I will soon to post more videos on these topics.